All right, welcome to the Answer Cause podcast. So I've been getting a lot of questions about whether or not you should get the new Model 3 uh, 2024 Island. So personally, my opinion has been that the car has had one of the smoothest suspensions I've ever driven. Really great um, suspension when it comes to just driving it smoothly. It feels very similar to Model S um, in a sense where you're able to basically drive at long distances and it feels smooth. For me, each drive on the new Model 3 Highland has been on the air rings and not the, um, the sports wheels that it comes with for an electric competitive, I believe. Um, although they do look nicer, the air wheels do provide more support as well as a longer range. And you may be wondering whether or not, hey, should I actually buy this new Model 3 or can I go with the used version, right? If you're going to go for the used version around 2018 to the 2020s, you're looking around low 20s, $25,000. The 2021s and onward, you're still looking around the $30,000. And then if you want the brand new 2024 version, you're about looking at around $38,000 to around $50,000, setting like on the upgrades, or whatever it may be. So a big, huge trash ship there. It is night and day how much better the 2024 Highland is compared to the 2018 Model 3s, the first ones. I know this because I've driven a 2018 one for about a week or two um, when I got my Model S here. Um, and the battery wasn't able to charge as fast because it is uh it can't handle as much uh, fast charging also the the um the 2024 version you can actually go to 250 kilowatt hour uh charger and you'll go to like say around a thousand um you can use it a thousand uh, miles per hour for charge so it's a lot and the suspension is really good. So there's huge battery kind of uh, nuances with, with each of these uh, each of these cars. Personal opinion, if you are going to buy a Model 3 and you have the money, go for the long range 2024 version because you will get the latest technology, the hardware, your uh, hardware boots, hardware four, so your, your self-driving will be more effective compared to the previous rendition video, I think you're on hardware 2 or 2.5. So, yeah. most all driving, maybe not as good, or maybe not really be available so with all software advances, especially to these cars. So, we use that as kind of a point of reference. If you're interested in basically, say, getting a new Tesla that is like in that affordable price range, the Model Y is actually pretty similar to it in the sense where there is a $75 rebate for the car compared to the Model 3 as the battery chemistry or the battery itself is no longer um, is what it's I believe the different manufacturers from the Model 3 battery so no longer qualifies for that $75 rebate which is unfortunate uh, but the $75 rebate now applies to the Model Y where when you purchase the car the $75 is immediately taken off the purchase price of the vehicle as to put before where you had to wait till tax season for you to find a ten thousand dollar rebate, which is kind of annoying. So it is a very good deal right now to do the Model Y right now. Overall driving experience with the Model Three twenty twenty four Highland, it's probably one of the best Teslas I've driven so far. Having the X, the S, the Three, and the Y, that Model Three Highland had the smoothest suspension, and this was just on the rear wheel drive. So I can only imagine how it will be with the long range Model Three. Uh, that does come out. Uh, I think in two weeks last, I went to the service center or at the uh, Tesla uh, sales center. So I will test drive that for you guys, show you what that's like, do another review for y'all. Um, but overall, I have the Model S 2023 or 2022 uh, long range on the Arachnid wheels, which is the kind of the performance based wheels that are supposed to look nice. Similar to have the Plaid Model S. Um, and I've noticed that the driving experience for the Model 3 has been so much better for that, for the, <clears throat> for that Model 3 with the real world drive. It was much smoother. It, it was kind of crazy that 
this car, which is like half the price of the Model S, way less range, has no air suspension, has a much smoother long, um, drive, which makes sense though. Part of like, Tesla built this car for the masses, as opposed to the S, it's kind of like their premium version of the car, where the three is more so for a larger demographic, larger portion of the community. And it, it was actually a much better ride experience. Regarding the features, the screen now is very similar to the S and X, where you just click it up, drive, click down, reverse. It's similar to it as the screen is smaller, but it's still overall a great screen. So I've enjoyed it. People are kind of being scared that, hey, maybe I don't like the stocks, there's just stocks, I'm supposed to drive the car. But you do get used to it. The cool thing with Tesla is that <clears throat> the cameras recognize whether you're reversing or going forward. So you basically just press the gas or the brake button and then the car will automatically reverse, shaking to reverse or automatically shift to drive. Depending on where you are, it's in beta right now, but overall it's been pretty, pretty good and pretty, um, pretty steady with how it, it's performed for me. So I've been enjoying these, these features for the car itself. With regards to, <clears throat> The ambient lighting, that's another fun thing with the new Model 3. If you like to change the colors in your car, which is actually pretty cool, like the green, blue, yellow, red, like just the inside and interior of the car. It's just like, it doesn't really add to the driving experience, but it just makes it like more fun to look at. And another one of my favorite features is that similar to the S X, there is a back payment system in the new Model 3. So basically there's a tiny screen back there where you, if you have kids, family members, or friends in the back, they can watch YouTube or Netflix. It is kind of tiny. You do have to look down. I don't see the benefit of that if you are, say, an adult who has like an iPhone or a smartphone and they're able to just watch on their phone. But if you are someone who is basically, like, if, you, if you're a child and they're like watching things, they can basically watch it on your little small screen in the back. And it is more beneficial for them, um, especially if you have young kids. So it's kind of like a fun, fun thing for them. And I've had friends in my car with the Model S. They played the game at 2048, Stardew Valley in the back. It's just, just a little fun thing to pass time for, for them. So that's one thing to keep in mind. If you do get the Model 3 2024 Island, you do get these new hardware updates where you have fun games to play in the back. It's enjoyable. Help you pass the time. The biggest factor here is that I think it's an amazing car. But if your cars are all paid off, you don't need an electric car, then there's no need to purchase the car. That's always my biggest bracket. People feel like they've saved a lot of money on gas because they, they're going to be trading in their own gas car. No, so in reality is like the car is a brand new car. So you're spending more on the car itself, giving you payments, and then you're paying for insurance, and then you're going to be paying for electricity. And electricity is right so you're now. Tesla, when you supercharge, you are basically tiered pricing where if you charge a certain time, you'll be paying a premium. A lot of times around like 16 hours a day is two cents per kilowatt hour to charge the battery. And if your battery is a hundred kilowatt hour battery, cents, you're paying about two bucks per hundred uh, kilowatt hour charges in there to hundred, right? So it is kind of pricey now. Um, however, if you do go at later time of the day, like around say 10 p.m. to like 2 a.m. something crazy like that is around 10, 15, 15, 16 cents per kilowatt hour to supercharge your car. That is one benefit of actually getting an electric car. Overall, I gave the Model 3 Highland a 9 out of 10 when it comes to driving and the car overall aesthetic looks great. I love the new headlights. I love the Tesla symbol in the back. I love the suspension, the driving feel. And I think it's a great car and a great bang for your buck. However, if you don't need to buy a car because you have cars to come off, I suggest not buying it. But overall, Model 3, amazing car to buy right now. But if you need more space room, get the Model Y because right now with the rebates and the inventory <clears throat> on hand, both cars will cost the same because the Model Y still applies to that $7,500 rebate. So keep that in mind when thinking about purchasing the Model 3 or Model Y uh, uh, this year for 2024. So with that being said, Jell family, I appreciate you guys watching the podcast. 
just a little video I wanted to show for you guys because a lot of questions about the Mall 3, the I should buy the new 2024 Highland. These are my thoughts and my opinions. Joe family, I'll catch you later. Have an amazing day. Peace.